Hello my lovely Aquarius, welcome to this reading. How are you doing? I really hope doing great. Now we are going to do lots of doings, <laughs> money, manifestation, business, finances, career and beautiful things you want and need in your life for month of August 2023. We're going to do beginning, middle and end of the month and we'll have a little chat what's going on regarding planets as well now Aquarius this is for Sun Moon and Rising so check your Sun Moon and Rising to get more in depth information about yourself and the future that you hold and I I'd like to say thank you so much for being here I really I really appreciate your support by subscribing and liking and commenting it really helps me and my channel grow thank you so much Alrighty. What is happening in August? We have blue moon, which means there's two full moons in one calendar month. And the first of August is going to be the happiest or let's say the luckiest, perhaps even days. Uh, things that you start in that day or in around that date is going to be going to bring you a lot of good results as well. And it's a kind of day of windfall. So perhaps it's good maybe day. I'm not advising or suggesting. Perhaps it's a good day to get some lottery ticket going or whatever or even putting manifestation out there dream okay and that is going to bring you a lot of success and luck as well and um we have two major planets are going into a retrograde as well at nearer the end of the month mercury and uranus as well so but don't worry um we're gonna cover that what kind of energies that's going to um bring okay we're nearly there we are nearly there so, wow, star. Capricorn had the star as well, so I'm going to leave it there. Look, the stars are meaning that you are a star, first and foremost, and that's what you are. That is your sun, no, that is your tarot card. But star is talking about abundance, abundance of, because there's millions of stars out there, abundance of opportunities, monies, great, great things coming your way, if you want to, of course, because you have free will. Okay, Aquarius. Are you ready? Let's dive in. Wow. Ooh, dra drama or dramatic, let's say. Tower. Okay. When tower happens in money reading, it's definitely talking about there is a golden opportunity. Even though on um, first sight, it might feel like, oh my God, what's going on? Why is this happening? And I would say this. You might think this something is destructive. Destruction is happening. It's actually clearing the ground for you to start to build a new tower. Okay. And you are the captain of your ship. And you will steer that ship correctly where it needs to go. You're going to be bringing something new. Okay. What it means as well is there will be some golden opportunities striking. And it's the right time to be in right in the middle and being proactive. As I said, you have free will. You can do whatever you want. But this is not the time to put your head in the sand. It feels like the worst thing that happens is going to be the best thing that is happening. Okay. And this is a crown chakra that is falling. So there will be some realizations. Perhaps you're realizing how how much money you can actually make. Maybe you were overlooking something. And then finally, the universe is sending you this message saying, listen, Aquarius, you are just wasting time. You're really threading water. There is something better. There is more opportunities out there for you to go and grab it. Okay. Great fortune to have. No one needs to go without for you to have it. No one needs to be sick for you to be healthy. So this is like real awakening. Wow. How did I see this before? Look, you are where you are. It's no point to uh, cry over spilled milk or um, blaming yourself for not seeing a certain things before. Wow. Okay. Queen of Cups. Interesting. Chariot. Cancer here. Okay, what is important here in this period of time is to keep your head level, like staying grounded, okay? And the chariot knows there's one way and that's only up. So please, if there's a person that's helping you, perhaps it could be a, a mother figure or a father figure, it doesn't matter. It's kind of like elder or someone who's uh, perhaps more senior regarding either age or or experience or status so it's come someone's gonna help you okay but somehow interesting this person is kind of turning back to to you you might not be aware of this person but if you are do not forget about them when you are on the top okay do not uh, upset someone <laughs> all right now 
this is a card mind over matter so it's not like you're running away from something but you are like taking reins back absolutely you're taking your reins back and you're charging ahead like controlling the both names the good and bad it's a card as well of take being proactive there is not this peer especially the first part of the month there is no time for crying or oh wow look at that we have the star again guys you can't make this up you your name is going to be mentioned it's kind of like as if you're like either becoming famous or your name is going to be circulating either on paper or in, in the conversations it feels as well that universe is finally granting you a massive gift and I feel this year it's going to come through this kind of surprise event, which might feel not the positive at the beginning, but see those opportunities right in the middle, like literally re learn to read between the lines. What else do you need to know about this? What else do you need to know about this? Okay, here it is. Okay. Seven of Wands. King of Wands, sorry, King of Swords. Hmm. Let me clarify something here. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So what I'm seeing here is you being proactive and taking this opportunity has stared someone's um, boat and peace and someone like king of swords it feels like there will be some i wouldn't say competition but there will be like authority there could be authority clashes ego clashes there could be some restructuring either by law or regulations from outside it's beyond you beyond your um inputs right but it feels like you're going to be right it kind of feels like you're a little bit in the middle of of there's change in other laws or regulations or even structure, there's restructure happening. And you kind of be, you will find yourself a little bit in the middle. You will feel that um, you're, not that you're fighting someone else's uh, war, but hmm, someone doesn't get along here, okay? And it's not you, but you kind of get in the middle. I just want to say that, okay? But do not... Do not participate in a gossip or in, and that's what I'm saying, do not participate in a gossip. Not, don't, don't even engage in, in, in between these relationships that's going on. But it's just interesting how it's all coming through here and let them do their own thing. But you might feel like you're in the middle. Just keep your cool, cool beans. Okay. There's nothing to do with you. You do your thing. Mind over matter. You know where you're going. You just go ahead with it. Okay. Right. Middle of the month, we have new moon in, in Leo. And this is a very good time to focus on creative projects because Leo is very creative, like fire, right? Like we have already, Queen of Wands. That's the fire there for you guys. Um, It's a very good time to stand out rather than fitting in. And I can see here right now as well that you will literally need to stand out. But it's very interesting as well is to have a little bit different approach. Okay. And doing things differently or do things different things right king of swords is here message of concern fox okay <laughs> two fourteens interesting coincidence so this person is going to surprise you oh and i'm going to surprise you now in a second because you are keeping that cool facade because you're doing yourself a favor for, by step, stepping away from the drama and just doing your job, doing your thing, just really focusing what you need to do, okay? Has, someone has noticed that. They really want you on their side. Mm -hmm. And maybe there could be either a different company who you're working with or whatever. Someone has seen the way you work and they might actually approach you and say, look, we want you to come to work for us or so and so be wary of this not that now i'm saying not to do so we'll clarify that but it feels like this offer could come out of spite because of this person and 
they are wanting to take you away from them. It kind of feels like there's some this person wants a revenge. Not for you, but hmm. I hope this makes sense while I'm clarifying this. Um because someone is playing some games, some strategy games here. Really strategy games. What you need to know. I'm gonna straighten the question. What it is you need to know. Hmm. Okay, let me clarify that. Your offer is someone's if someone offers you more money, make sure it's written. Everything needs to be written down. Because I feel this person is very uh, controlling and it, unless it's been something strictly put on a paper black and white it could be just words so this offer that is perhaps coming no wonder there was a fox here okay really shock you and so you so for you because you are having a great start here you have a great foundation perhaps going here even though you might feel oh it would be great to leave don't just run from the pan into fire because that that would happen even though you have a four ones here but this emperor here is he's not wanting to dish out money as he's saying okay so be be really street wise street wise mm -hmm. because this person really wants to hold on to finances and you need to do so as well you need to really weigh up all the pros and cons and there is no just a handshake. No, no, no. Everything needs to be put in the paper. And if needed, consult with someone who knows what they do. Because this person is somehow trying to get you on their side. And promising the moon and the stars. But not putting on a paper. And it's not going to be delivered. Yeah. They are playing some, um, some strategic and um, ugly games. And somehow you ended up in the middle. I would actually say, stay where you at, and you be patient. Vicious literally saying, really, really look. You have free will. You can do whatever you want. I will cl clarify one more. Um, but this is definitely a card of, don't. Um, don't go yet, no. It feels like stay where you're at right now, patient. Even though if you want to leave, okay, you might feel like you're urging. There is something ick, ick about here, the situation. I just want to warn you there, okay. Advice, some more card for advice for you, Aquarius. Because Temperance is saying here, look, stay where you're at. And fix the problems, whatever is there first, before you run away. Because this situation, this person or company or whatever that is, or whatever offer is there, it's it stinks. <laughs> Straight. <laughs> Sorry for being blunt. Okay, advice. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I sense that you some of you want to leave desperately. You want something new, okay? But there is this but. It sounds good. On, on in as you speak about it or talk about it but in real life it's not practical here and because there is a lot of icks about there's a lot of um ifs buts and babies it could bring you some really headaches and shoulda woulda coulda get some more cards it looks nice and paper on it as an idea Teamwork. Investigate before you do anything. Maybe it's not never, but it's not right now. Okay? Be patient. Be patient. Your time has come. If, for those who want to maybe move something, okay? If you want to move, research. And don't just jump in in a fire. Okay? Right. Let's have a look at the end of the month. We have 
full moon in Pisces. So there's a closure happening, major endings, and Mercury goes in retrograde till September, mid-September. And it's really talking about managing the stress that you have here. Okay, not to taking on too much, really not to taking on too much, staying grounded, stick to routine that you have, okay? And then Uranus goes in retrograde as well, will be there till January. And you might feel this thing that things are slowing down, but it actually isn't. It's a good time to really work on what you have right now, rather than grabbing something new, perhaps, okay? And really kind of taking your control back. Let's dive in. Ace of Pentacles, look. And that's what's happening. Look. So, because you waited... The opportunity is going to present itself and it feels like someone there could be some jurisdiction some sort of lawsuit or some not, not against you but there could be some changes in laws and regulations and you will receive the message you will receive some sort of confirmation that perhaps you're waiting but this is a card as well making decision saying yes to something new in your life that there's a new job opportunity and it feels as well someone is as well making decision maybe you're going for interviews you maybe going something or applying internally externally doesn't matter it feels like someone is going to make some sort of choices so make sure that your cv looks good and presentative okay um it's definitely someone who is starting maybe a new job or or um, at a company or business or side hustle very important to research your laws and regulations, whether this is even if it's especially if it's taboo or a little bit kind of crazy of idea that you want to making sure that everything is perfect and that you can do that sort of practice. And for example, not not every country is welcoming tarot, tarot readers, so I wouldn't be dreaming to do everywhere. OK, so it's just example. OK. In some places, you, you kind of can't do certain things or there's regulations that can stop you. Not that for you to procrastinate, to frighten you off. It's just to make sure that you are on the right side of the law. Of the law. Okay. And I feel like there could be changes in your contract as well, in your earnings. That will improve. There could be some increase in your wages, uh, some, you know, collective increases. Yeah. Three of Pentacles, teamwork. You're going back to your roots somehow. You're going back to basics. Interesting. What is this about? Let's find out. Here we go. And here we go. There was already, we had the lovers here, but you didn't accept that. There was something wasn't clicking. Now it's clicking. Now it's really matching. You're going to find that match of how to make money, how to... You might even, you might actually find a place where you feel like you belong as if like part, being part of family in a ways. But because you waited, you got that. And with the Ten of Pentacles, it's the most abundant card in the tarot. It's like a windfall. As I said, first of, first of um, August is a day of windfall. You got this a little bit 30 days later. But it's a card as well that you are inheriting. Maybe someone's leaving and you're getting new pos that, that position. But this is well maybe building your own um, legacy in a ways, okay? And you're really creating uh, great conversations and energies. It could, I feel as well some of you are mixing with really wealthy people or really well off, or people who are very experienced in the field that you need are in at the moment. Hmm. You have some doubts. Okay, you're doubting yourself a little bit here, whether this job or this opportunity that is coming your way, whether you can do this. You can. Don't doubt yourself. You have two aces, which means definitely, yes, 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 you can. And it's only you who could stop it from happening. Don't doubt yourself. You're intelligent enough. You're smart enough. Everything is going for you. Don't doubt yourself. Focus on things that you can do and your strengths, okay? And then learn and become better on your weaknesses bit by bit you know improvement is good but really focus on your strengths there you're going to be working quite a lot alone yeah it feels like you're going to be working a lot on your image as well and how things look especially if you're self-employed you're going to be working on your packaging or branding and your website perhaps as well and it's going to perhaps even take a lot of time and you might feel that you you are kind of fresh into this but if this is regarding um 
company or or where you're working it feels like you're going to be left alone in ways because you are very good at what you do and it feels as well that you're going to be connecting with your creative side with your um spiritual side and if you're a writer i have to say it's it's very interesting if you're a writer your pain and your experience are actually going to benefit or if you're an artist or a musician it's interestingly how um how this you're going to be using you will you will be channeling this into your work so all the past experiences that you had are going to resurface and you will be utilizing them so nothing has gone to waste the positive and negative that you experienced in your life is finally feels like you can actually use this very very creative indeed so interesting months some interesting opportunities here that present themselves we had some dodgy offer here but if you wait for it there's something better coming afterwards so don't rush into things okay no yes there we are no and wait a year from now okay so you will have some you will start in something new and you will see that some sort of rewards from year from now within the next few months up to year okay so that is good to see. That is really good to see. Lovely. Aquarius, what your higher self would like to tell you? Imagine Inspiration. Imagination. What you do and the way you hold yourself, the way you carry yourself, especially at the beginning here, is really inspiring. And you're very strong. You don't give yourself, I think you don't give yourself enough credit. For how strong you actually are, how valuable you are, how smart and intelligent you are. And once you brush that up and dust yourself off, uh, much more people actually could benefit from your persona, from your experience, from your ways of living and carrying yourself. Because you are tough, old, tough, old cookie, I have to say that. <laughs> All right, my beautiful souls, thanks so much for being here. What a crazy month indeed, but it's good one though, right? And uh, let me know what you think in the comment section. I really appreciate your subscription and your presence so, so much. Thank you and love and light and I'll see you in the next reading. Ta-da!